Today, we're going to show you how to remove unwanted items from a photograph. By far, one of the most common questions I get asked when teaching others how to use Photoshop is how do I take things out of a photograph? How do I remove unwanted items from a photograph? Sometimes I wish as photographers, we would spend more time getting it right in camera and therefore trying to avoid things that are unwanted in our photograph rather than spend countless minutes and maybe even hours taking things out of a photograph in Photoshop. However, sometimes I understand that some unwanted items are in fact unavoidable and therefore we need to know how to take things out of a photograph when the situation calls for it. So in this video I'm going to show you one way that we can go about taking things out of a photograph but just know that there are lots of different ways to take things out of a photograph. So instead of creating one video I'm actually going to create three different videos all with different techniques all based around taking things out of a photograph. We're going to start basic in this video and get progressively harder over the next two videos. First, let's start with an image and then take it from there. So I've already started with a photograph, one that I've taken, and this is the image that we're gonna practice on. So in order to get this photograph from Lightroom into Photoshop, I'm simply gonna hit Command E. If you're a Mac user, Control E on a PC should work. And if that doesn't work, you can head on up to Photo, Edit In, and choose Adobe Photoshop. Once we've arrived inside of Photoshop, this is where the magic happens. And like I said earlier, there's a lot of different ways to go about removing things from an image. So we're going to start simple and then we're going to progressively get more difficult over the next two videos. One final thing, as an added bonus, if you want to follow along with me, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so that you too can download the raw file for this exact image that we're going to use over the next three videos. Go ahead and download that file, open it up in Photoshop so that you could follow along with me as I show you all the little tricks and tips on how you can remove something from a photograph. One final thing, the beginning of this video I've shown you how to open a file from Lightroom. That was assuming that you were even using Lightroom. If you're someone who's just using Photoshop, let me show you how to open up that negative file inside of Photoshop since you're not using Lightroom. To do so, you open up the Photoshop program, then head up to File, choose Open, find where you downloaded that digital file that I've given you for free, select it, choose Open. Because this is a RAW file, the RAW converter is going to open. But this series of videos is not talk about Adobe Camera RAW. This video series is to show you how to remove unwanted items from a photograph. So for now, simply choose open image and then we can get started. So regardless of whether or not we're going to start basic or whether we're going to start advanced, one of the first things I do inside of Photoshop before I get started doing anything is I'm going to create a duplicate layer of the layer that I have right now. The easiest way to do that is to hit Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC. Once I've duplicated my layer, the next thing I want to do is create a blank layer or an empty layer that I can actually begin working on. The reason for this is simple. I want to work in a non-destructive way. And one of the ways to work in a non-destructive way is to work on a blank layer versus working on a layer that has all of my pixels contained inside. So the easiest way to do that is to head on down to this little piece of paper with the corner folded up and click on it. And there I have now layer two, which is a blank layer. Now, one of my favorite tools for removing any unwanted items from a photo is the spot healing tool. I believe that the spot healing tool is probably the easiest and one of the most effective. However, it's not the end all be all. And that's why we've going to create two more videos to show you some lovely tips on how to remove things from an image. But let's just start with the spot healing brush first and show you how this works. So first navigate over to the spot healing brush. It looks like a little band-aid with some dimples or a rainbow of dots around it. That is not to be confused with the healing brush which is also a band-aid without the little dots. So we're going to choose the spot healing brush for this example. Once we've got it selected, I've got a host of options up in the toolbar options. And the biggest thing for us is to make sure that sample all layers is checked. The reason we want sample all layers checked is because the layer that we're going to be working on, in this case, layer two, doesn't have any information contained on it. So if I were to head over to the picture and start brushing on this bob wire that I want to remove, nothing is going to happen nothing whatsoever. And the reason is because that layer doesn't have anything on it. The second that I go and choose sample all layers, now what it's doing is reading not only layer two, but it's also reading layer one as well as the background layer. And for this reason, when I start to spot heal on the bob wire, it actually has some information to read from. And therefore, when I go and brush on the bob wire, it'll automatically begin to take that away. 
If I zoom into the picture, you can clearly see that a little chunk of the bob wire has been removed and replaced with some grass. Now, a good thing to practice when you're removing something like this bob wire fence is to make the size of your brush relatively similar to size, but not the exact same size. Because what you want to do is read a little bit of the pixels around the edge of the, the uh, area that you're trying to remove. But there's no need for your brush to be this large. Just something slightly larger than the item that you're trying to remove is good. It's also good practice to make sure that you zoom into an area when you're working on it. Far too often when I'm teaching students, I see them, whether they're nervous or whether they just don't know any better, they tend to try and remove bob wire when the picture's this small. This is going to be nearly impossible and not give you good results. Make matters worse, when you work into a small space like this, and then you turn around and print this item later, it's quite possible that you'll see imperfections in your editing. Once you blow this up to a large size, and it begins to look more like this, any imperfections in your print are going to be way more obvious. So do yourself a favor. Start working in tight now and save yourself the headache later. So a couple of ways to zoom in and out is to hold the command and plus button or minus button or control plus or minus button if you're a PC user. Another thing as far as making the brush uh, spot healing brush bigger or smaller. You can do this with your bracket keys. One bracket will make it bigger, one bracket will make it smaller. Once you've got the size of the brush exactly the way you want it, the way the spot healing brush is I can simply just brush along the spot healing brush. And just like that, it will take care of anything that I'm working on. Just continue this path all the way down. And that's one way to remove an item from a photograph. Another way to do this is to make a selection of something in the photograph and fill it with something that you'd prefer be there. For example, if I were to head on over to my lasso tool and circle the item here that I want to remove, once I've circled the item, I'm going to head on up to edit, fill, and fill with the content aware options. Leave my blending mode to normal and my opacity at 100% and click OK. And this sometimes will do a good job, but as you can see in this instance, it's not doing a great job. Part of the reason was because I didn't check to see which layer I was on. In this case, I'm still working on layer two and there's no information in there. So if I go into my history and go back to where I selected my layers and simply choose layer one and then go to edit and fill content aware mode, normal, opacity 100%, click OK. This does a much better job. Go up to select and deselect. That'll make my marching ants go away. And just like that, we've already begun the process of removing some unwanted items from an image. This is just two examples of ways that we can remove things from a photograph. In the next video, I'll show you a more intermediate way of removing items from a photograph. And we will continue with this picture here in the next video.